Hello everyone, I am Amir Abdurrahman Puti from SMP Nukri 7 Junior High School and today I would like to tell you the story of Banyuwangi. Among some other version of the story, I took the one that is from the English textbook Let's Talk for the Ninth Grader. Here's the story. Once upon a time in East Jaffa, there reigned a king named Sindhireja. He had a prime minister named Sita Paksa. Sita Paksa had a wife named Sri Tanjung. He loved his wife deeply, and they both lived in complete happiness. However, Sita Paksa's mother did not like her daughter-in-law. One day, Sita Paksa's mother told the king about a magical flower that grew in Mount Ijen. She told the king that he can ask Sita Paksa to search for the magical flower. Sita Paksa left for Mount Ijen, leaving his pregnant wife alone. Not so long after, a baby boy was born. It, it gives happiness to the young mother. However, one day when the young mother was bathing, her evil mother-in-law took the baby and threw him into the river. Street Tanjung was very sad. She couldn't eat nor sleep. She fell ill. Two years later, Sita Baksa returned. However, when he was about to go inside his house, his mother stopped him and told him that his wife had thrown their baby into the river. Sita Baksa, angered by it, grabbed his dagger and goes to his wife. Sri Tanjung, how could you kill our son? Sri Tanjung responds calmly to his husband. Oh, my dear husband, I didn't kill our son. I am innocent. If you don't believe me, take me to the river. I will show you, I will show you who killed our son. See, the Baksa grabbed his wife and took him to the took her to the river. At the river, his wife leaped from his arm into the river. No, you can't do that. Who will tell me who killed our, my son? He said. Not a while later, two white flowers appeared, one taller than the other. They gave off an, a fragrance that filled the entire place. Sita Paksa, look here. It's your son. He himself will tell you who killed him. The taller one spoke. Father, it's grandma who threw me into the river, the smaller one said. After that, they both returned to vanish into the water. Sita Paksa couldn't help but lamented his sorrow and his regrets. From then on, the place is called Banyu Wangi. Banyu means water and Wangi means fragrance. From this story, we can from this story, it has a deep meaning that we should not rush to conclusion and instead try to find the other side of the story as well. That is it for me. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day.